in general, nature is not symmetric. Mm -hmm. But if you uh, go to a special situation, often you know of of minimal energy, or you, know, you can think of it of trying to pack things in the most regular way, with, uh, or we discussed the 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 the, 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 sh the shape of a soap bubble that tries to minimize its surface tension. You typically get symmetrical objects. Right. Uh, in fact, um, it's, it's, it's efficient. I mean, I think that's why we see it in flowers, in, uh, in, in organisms. Um, so you're basically making a point that uh, if our tools of design and production will change, and they are changing now, where <laughs> that in changing. some sense we see less, we we'll probably will see in the future less and less symmetrical objects, are you thinking? I don't know. I think it's just, um, there's the other big issue with symmetry, which is beauty, and we'll deal with yes. that later. So symmetry as a mer merchandising or marketing yeah. tool. But um, I think that as we have more and more additive design and 3D printing and the idea, so many architects and designers are working on growing objects mm -hmm. and buildings as opposed to making them. So when you have a, a pavilion that, that's made by silkworms, then you know the symmetry will not be that important yes. anymore. Yes. Um, so, so kind of the difference, I think about it like a crystal or something, which is just the way in which molecules or atoms are ordered compared to a tree, yeah. which grows organically and Absolutely. has a completely uh, different kind of shape. Absolutely, and that's what many architects and designers that are doing uh, experimental work right now are taking as models. And I noticed that you, you actually, as a, you know, a, a, an architect and leading an architectural firm, um, you you see this symmetry as a as, as a guiding principle in your work, or um, is it evolving in the in the same direction that Paula is saying so that your technology is changing in the it. same direction as Paula said? But in addition to that, I think that with the onset of modernism, we've sort of taken it as an intellectual concept to mm -hmm. defy uh, symmetry, and and I think that today we're actually past that because if there are reasons that symmetry is useful, so to speak, if you can employ it as a tool within a set of particular circumstances, then so Why be not? it, as yeah. you yeah. said. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's not so interesting to say yay or nay, um, but I think it is interesting and it sounds to me like eventually we will talk about the concept of beauty relative to symmetry. Um, there it really gets interesting because there are all sorts of social influences too, yeah. you know? As an architect, I find it highly annoying when somebody comes to me and says, I really like symmetry. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> uh, right. For informing me, I'll Thank alert you. the media.